So uh, teaching a seminar on Chinte in a couple of weeks' time. Chinte is strange hands, and the, invariably the question we get asked is about the bunny hop jumps that get you back to your start point in the shot cam version of the kata. And a lot of people would say, oh, it's just to get back to the start point. That's the only reason those bunny hops exist. And we would say, well, it would look a lot easier and a lot nicer if you just did chuto stepping backwards or at an angle, wouldn't it? And that would get you back to your start point in uh, a slightly more dignified manner. So if that's the case, and we think that those bunny hops are there for a reason, instead of just aesthetics or, um, you know, topography, we've got to get back to that point, then instead let's have a use for it, let's have an application. And there are many, many different things that that move can do. So the one that we're going to look at on this section is um, a very, very simple one, and there's a lot of caveats that go with it. So we're going to have the big right hook because it's the most common attack in the world. We're going to enter that space, and because of what I'm going to do, I might need to hit, I might need to strike, because I need a distraction to enable me to lift that arm and get my head underneath here. Because if I don't, he's going to hit me with that hand. So having already struck, then I get to go around here, and then once we get a hold of that, I'm now making the end position, and I think you can see that any little bunny hop from here is probably going to be damage on that limb, isn't it? And it's a, a, a reason for being there. So a simple application, we get a hold of the arm and pop it but not using the strength of our arms, using the strength of our legs to make that happen.